On today's edit, watch your favorite adventure nerd burn his mouth on a habanero. Ouch. Oh, good morning, people. We're about to head down to the property. Got some new things to try out today. So, we're gonna try out this new equipment. We're gonna go down to the Three Brothers property and go check out the uh, wading pool. And then also check out the camping spot and see if that tick flea killer helped at all. First go with the helmet cam. It's a little crooked, but we're gonna go with it. I think it'll be fine. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a peek at my new setup that my uh, that the girls got me this weekend for Father's Day. Okay, so solid green light means Wi-Fi is connected. The GoPro. So now this controls this, so when I press the red button, it goes into record. But this is my first go with the, with the new setup, with the GoPro and the gimbal. Before we go to the spring, we are gonna stop here at Little Deadwood and go check on the trail and see how it's doing. So the trail is pretty overgrown. Uh, so we're gonna have to come back at another time and clear this out a little bit. Wanted to check on the wading pool. All right, so kind of like I thought, the we had a rainstorm Monday morning and kind of washed the that wall away. But I went to Walmart on the way out here and I grabbed a uh, you know your basic military fold and screw tight shovel, and so I'm gonna use that down here here in a little bit and reinforce uh, my build. Brought some uh, dryer lint. Got plenty of dog hair in it. I heard from an old wise man, you need that dog hair in there. And I put some uh, wax, actually I think I put like Neosporin or some kind of KY jelly in there to see what that would do. Put that on the bottom. Cut a couple of these pieces down. I'm about to cut some more down.
very very glad i put this tick killer down here i haven't seen a one tick crawling up my leg so i think it's probably a little bit of a success sure can't smell that dog hair burning in that lint All right, let's go find us a skewer and stick. I get a stick most every time I come out here. I do cook sausage on them, so I'm betting they're smelling good to these critters out here. Probably drag them off to the woods and chew on the tips of, of my grill and stick. Got ourselves a habanero right there. Oh yeah. So we got rid of the tick problem, but now we have a fly problem. Are so many flies over here right now. It's not one thing, it's another. Whatever, I'm just gonna have to move closer to this fire. About to eat this food anyways, put the drone up. Head over to the spring and play over there for a couple minutes. Let's get out there, let's have some fun. It's your favorite adventure nerd. We appreciate you checking out these edits. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, turn on your notifications and all of that. What a great day, glorious day, beautiful out. Got hot for just a minute, but it's actually quite a bit of cloud cover, keeping the sun off me. Feeling good, those flies are relentless though over here. Can't wait to get home and see these shots that I'm getting with the gimbal. My only complaint, which is an easy fix, is bottom of the GoPro 8, the mounts fold out of it and that seems a little bit flimsy but that's an easy fix eight dollars you can buy a cage like what they have on the gopro 7. i've heard it's uh you can use the batteries from the 7 but it's recommended that you use a battery for made specifically for the 8. seems like you can still use the battery may not work to peak performance i don't know what that means and not that i want this to be a review video it's just kind of what i'm doing right now check out the property see if the flea and tick medicine worked which it sure the heck did i should knock some of the seeds out of there first it's pretty warm habanero challenge the seeds are hot yeah Mmm. Delicious. Moment of honesty. 
that pepper was hot. Oh my goodness. I couldn't even think for a second. Oh, I'm so teared up. Snot just started running out of my face. It took me probably three minutes to get back to this point. My mouth is drooling and uh, whoo, kind of wish I would have kept the camera on, but I couldn't even think straight. <laughs> whew. Get a hold of yourself, Willis. On today's edit, watch your favorite adventure nerd burn his mouth on a habanero. Ouch. I ate that jalapeno and it took absolutely all of my appetite away. As soon as I ate it, I, I didn't want to eat anymore. I got a lot of this food cooked, and so I'm gonna pack it up and bring it with me because I'm sure I'll get hungry at some point. <laughs> but man, I'm telling you, the moment it hit my mouth, I was like, oh, this is fine. And then I chewed it up, swallowed it, sat there for a second, shut the camera off, and then it came from inside out and the heat was unexplainable <laughs> i've eaten some hot stuff and i like habaneros but i think cooking it with all the seeds in it really uh kept the heat packed that heat in that one bite and uh it took my breath away uh everything started watering nose mouth it was pretty gnarly so geez Funny enough, this isn't a review video, but it's quickly becoming a review video. I just bought this shovel today. If you've used these shovels, you know what you're getting into with them. They're tri-fold, they screw on, they're pretty good. They're not the best shovel in the world, but when you're camping, they're a great option. Just in my sandals today, and uh, just some basic gym shorts, so it doesn't matter if you have the most professional gear or the most economic gear it's easy enough to get out here into these places and have some fun it's nice because i own this property with a couple of brothers of mine so i'm able to get out of the city and get out here and play quite a bit so there's plenty of state parks plenty of national parks it's uh it's easy to get out do something have some fun keep your sanity moving keep happy it's good for me. Uh, I'm gonna quit rambling at the camera for a sec. I was just showing off my new folding shovel. If anybody, if you've ever seen these, they're pretty standard, just military style. You can have like a pick like that, or you can have a flat shovel. It's got a saw. I've seen people sharpen the edges. I just stopped at Walmart and grabbed something. I had one a while back. I just don't, I don't know what I did with it. Left it somewhere. 10 bucks at Walmart. I'll do it. Look at that, that was making the job much easier. Hmm. Back here huffing and puffing. Overall, this is a pretty good little shovel. I knew what to expect when I got it. I've used them, I've had them. So, if you're looking for something quick, easy, something that can fit in your backpack, this is pretty good. Uh, it'll fit in underneath your seat of your car. But, this is probably where I'm gonna end this one. Cause I need to get back to town and uh, pick up the kiddos, sit down here and relax for about 10, 15 minutes. sitting here thinking and relaxing I think I might try to build another kind of camp area down here since it's nice and cool um, there's this big log right there and I kind of have an idea for that um, we'll need to collect enough of the similar size branches and try to make a platform from from the log and then we'll put it straight back to the hill where it's even 
and then maybe we can have like a little platform right there just for the fun of it see if we can build something like that and uh i don't know we'll try it we'll give it a shot i got a lot of big aspirations and dreams and it's just hard for me to get to them that's why you guys are getting some pretty basic footage these days but oh my gosh what's that hey look at this look at this bang i lost that lighter probably two weeks ago brought it in to make myself a fire and eat some lunch found it <laughs> but this is where i'm going to end it and we appreciate you checking out this edit once again it's your favorite adventure nerd let's get out there let's have some fun be sure to like subscribe comment below turn on your notifications All right, let's get out there and let's have some fun. So we tested out the iSteady Pro 3, the GoPro Hero 8 Black, and a fold and screw tight shovel from Walmart by Ozark Trail. As far as a review for all this equipment, I would venture to say that all three of them did pretty well i'm pretty new to using gimbals but for me the gimbal worked really good so i'd say for a beginner gimbal go with this gimbal as far as the gopro 8 i really like the camera footage that i'm looking at on the computer here and the shovel did very well it's a decent shovel so as far as all the equipment goes it all did really well so go out and <laughs> So go out and get yourself some, and we appreciate you watching this video. It's your favorite adventure nerd. Let's get out there. Let's have some fun. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below.